Kenworth's hard man at the head, Patchell Industries bearing the load out the rear, and local talent at the tiller. It would appear that self-loader logging limited has no problem separating the wood from the trees along the hallowed carriageways of the mighty Kaingaroa. Mystique is definitely not too romantic a word to describe the Kaingaroa. Be it the 1,829 square kilometre forest, the people who have made their living there, or the machinery. For truck enthusiasts, the Kaingaroa is a pilgrimage destination, not only just for locals, but for spotters the world over. Marks like Pacific, Kenworth, Mac, Western Star, as well as the top shelf from Europe have all sent their biggest and best into this green world, where VDAM, as the outside knows it, is left at the front gate. Off-highway forestry is in a class of its own. And then there's the roadscape. Truck driver or not, few New Zealanders will ever see or experience the vast roading network that has beaten many a machine to the point of submission. High level, low level, peaky peaky and gaudies, to name a few, are as much a part of roading folklore in New Zealand as any of the famous highways that exist beyond the forest boundaries. So here we are in the privileged position, having been granted access into the Kaingaroa, in order to check out the latest stem carting creations recently commissioned by Brian Smith's Taupo based Self Loader Logging Limited. Brian's been involved in carting logs from the giant central North Island plantations for more than half of the forest's almost 70 year harvesting life. Cranes, highway loggers, heavy haul, bin wood, and off highway cartage, he's done it all. There are a few who know what it takes to survive and thrive in the game better. So when he decided it was time to retire a couple of his old ageing Western Star STEM units, we were keen to see what he'd expect. As well as the privilege of a backstage pass into the Kongaroa, we were also honoured to spend time with a true off-highway operator, Duncan Hedawini, better known as Dunks. An 11-year STEMS carding veteran for self-loader logging, Dunks has a driving style not really taught, but more inherited. It's obvious from the get-go, his ear for what an off-highway log truck should sound and feel like was ingrained into him as a young fella growing up in and around KLC workshops in Muratapara and also spending precious time with the likes of his uncle, Vern Higgins. Behind the C5 and built like a blacksmith's anvil in terms of resilience to do the task, the Patchell Ultimate is the culmination of two decades of development, and its bones have been pretty much unchanged now for 10 years. The Ultimate is essentially a kick-ass chassis with a canny double walking beam, double pivot, tapered rubber bush suspension setup that supports a 50 ton rated turntable. The bolsters are then mounted to slew rings located via large heavy duty tapered rubber bushes. This particular bolster configuration is called the Resilient Mounting Setup on account of its brute strength with a little give when required. Obviously being a pole trailer, the load versus vehicle dynamics need to be accommodated. At the front end of the main pole, you will find a three meter long round insert, commonly known as a pecker pole. This extends and retracts through Teflon bushes as the trailer corners and rotates about its central axis, as the combination traverses varying road surfaces and negotiates skid sites. The Patchell Ultimate Log Trailer Combination, simple, strong, reliable, and weighing in just north of seven ton, it's definitely built to master its environment. C509 might be a beefed up brute in the load carrying department, but remarkably normal in the load powering department. A Cummins X15 set at 448 kilowatts, 600 horsepower, delivers 2,779 newton meters, 2,050 pound foot of torque to the rear ends. Between the engine and the triple drive setup is a mandatory Road Ranger RTLO 22918B manual transmission. After that, things get a little more abstract. The front axle is a Meritor MFS 73, rated at 7,300 kgs on multi-leaf springs, and out back, Meritor RZ 78188 axles with full diff lock and cross locks. These are rated at 35,300 kgs with a 4.89 to 1 final drive with 13R rubber on steel rims. 
and are perched under the chassis on New Way, AD37810 extra heavy duty air suspension, rated at 38 tonne. If it's logs you're wanting to cart, there are not many stops to make in New Zealand when looking, and Patchell Industries in Kenworth are definitely some of your first ports of call. These products have both been through the refiner's fire, and as we experience here, they have certainly carved strong reputations for themselves within the mighty Kaingaroa. But there's so much more to this giant green piece of New Zealand heartland. More to learn. It's not just about specking and building trucks and trailers to haul big loads, and then how to drive them. Instead it is about the unimportance of haste, the value of time, patience and community. The ingredients needed to grow a forest are the same as those required to flourish within it. One thing's for sure, at this time in history, the Kaingaroa and its people have much to teach us all. To read the complete story on this impressive bush-beating Patchell and Kenworth combination from Taupo Self-Load Logging, then pick up a copy of the August 2020 New Zealand Trucking Magazine on sale now. Have a fantastic month out there, take care, keep safe distance and travel safe.